Hello, Cancerians. Welcome in. Welcome back to your reading. I am sending you so much love and light today. Thank you for being here. Sending you so much love to Cancer. Let's begin this message for you. Please take what resonates. Leave the rest. Cancer, someone rising in Venus. Look at what is showing here for you. The Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter energy showing for you. So things are about to take a turn. Can we say that? Things are about to take a spin for you. A lucky spin, that is. Jupiter is about expansion. This also speaks about karmic lessons, meaning karmic cycles. I'm not saying completions nor beginnings. I feel like I feel like there's there's something karmic with this wheel of fortune. Okay. And karma can be both good and bad, right? So I just channel intuition. You know that this is coming. I feel like some of you know that this, this change in sudden shift could be. The Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius energy could also be a Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, and Scorpio. Things are about to take a, a turn here for you. Divine timing. This could also speak about destiny. I know you guys are seeing this. This could also... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I have to show you what I'm seeing here because I'm seeing the seven of wands and I have been channeling this message about protection. Then I just channel karmic, karmic cycles with this wheel of fortune, life lessons. So there's something here that's changing and I channeled also said, you know, this, is, this could be suddenly for you. It's a life, it is a life change because we have a tower. We have a seven of wands here showing for this reading again. Someone's blocking a karmic relationship. I feel like there's somebody who's letting go of a karmic situation, meaning turmoil. This person could be fle fleeting from turmoil. Now we have this Knight of Cups here, which could be, I feel like this is a message coming through, meaning of emotions. This could be somebody who's coming forward here with emotions unexpectedly, but you feel this, this energy has codependencies, addictions. Okay, this person could have codependencies, addiction. There could be a person here trying to overcome an addiction with a seven of wands and devil and this devil energy, Capricorn energy. Now there's a life change here, karmic lesson. I channel karma with this. I feel there's something here karmic um, that somebody here is letting go of. Okay, either overcoming something that made might have might have might have made them feel in some sort of restrained codependency karmic situation. What is this Knight of Cups, Two of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles? Someone has been conflicted about whether or not to offer you, I don't know, This is, I see a new beginning, Ace of Wands. Somebody's coming forward. This page of, I was gonna say, I don't know why I said the page. A Knight of Cups is a message, it's a message. It's, it's something something that's coming forward. Look, I channel page and there it is, the Page of Swords. This could be an Aquarius. It doesn't have to be an Aquarius. This could be somebody who's watching you because they're thinking they wanna take action towards the High Priestess. Give me one more energy for this reading. I need to clarify this Wheel of Fortune. So, so something here, karmic, it's changed, but a karmic situation is changing. Yeah, somebody feels liberated or optimistic about taking a leap towards you. Seeing the world energy as well. You've known, you've known that this energy has had something here to let go of, meaning, meaning other people, a mental conflict. So... I'm curious about this Knight of Cups. Now, I feel like you might have resisted somebody. Someone has learned a valuable lesson about a family dynamic or something to do with children and family. Give me one more energy. This Somebody here is heading in a new direction. Yep, I'm seeing the Page of Swords again. I feel like there's somebody who wants a victory now with you or coming out of a battle, coming out of a struggle with victory with the Six of Wands. See, this is a struggle. It's a, if There's a need here to defend something or overcome a situation that feels karmic. 
And I feel like somebody is going to do so, Cancer. Six of Wands is a person coming out of the struggle. Before I clarify this Wheel of Fortune, yeah, somebody's coming out of the struggle here, meaning liberation. I channel feeling liberated. New beginnings, reborn, transition, a tragic ending. I just remembered a dream I had. That is really auspicious. I, I just, I channeled the Ten of Swords. So I had a dream when the Ten of Swords was in my dream. And it was me communicating what it was. And it was about a tragic ending. So there it is, coffin. Something has been put to rest because there's been ascension from this twin flame who's looking at your pictures. This could be an energy that could have had many options or could have been unconventional, could have, could have strung you along. There's ascension, learning and expanding. Okay, so we have Jupiter here, which is expansion, transit, transition. Okay, somebody here is transcending here, meaning preparing for union. And this could also be, new, be you. I was going to say this could also be new. Now we have here new face, preparing for union. Somebody who's very different than you. There's a union, a duality here. There's something here that's coming into balance between twin flame energies. And, you know, this Knight of Cups, which I'm going to clarify for you, feels to me like it's something new. Some of you have resisted a karmic situation. You feel liberated. You're going to be. If this isn't you, then this is somebody else. I have a Capricorn here, and I, I think I mentioned the signs when I began the reading. This is about, about feeling optimistic to head in a new direction. Now we have this coffin here, new beginnings, liberation. This is six of cups here, past life soulmate, nostalgia, and we have twin flames. So looking at you, if missing you, looking, see, we have the page of swords and looking at your pictures, I keep saying that. Somebody here spying on you with somebody who's heartbroken, could be a Scorpio, somebody who's in grief. A feels hurt. I feel like that some of you overcame the devil. I mean, I don't know how else to see this seven of wands in this situation here. Something came to light as well. Things coming to light and healing. Dragonfly is here. You may be seeing dragonflies as well. There's a sense of liberation. This is also blocking... Um, Codependencies, meaning shadow, shadow work, doing the work, overcoming the devil. That is really interesting. Let's clarify this Wheel of Fortune before I continue. Lighthearted and adapting. There's something here you're going that somebody's adapting to the new. Okay, things have come to the light. I feel like someone's addictions might have been, it might have been exposed. Someone's addictions might have been exposed. I, I keep going back to this energy here. I feel like this is a twin flame whom you have a stroll, st stroll. I don't know what's going on with me recently. Stroll, I don't know, is that even a word? A strong connection with this person here is, I feel like the two of you, there's, there's a new phase that you are preparing for, preparing for union. I feel like this is, this is a, a person from your past missing you. Things have come to the light for this energy. <clears throat> a tragic ending here has happened because, you know, someone might have gotten into an accident. Look, karmic relationship. There it is. That is what has come to completion. Letting go. It says you're turmoil and fleeting. Turmoil and fleeting. Somebody's letting go of this situation and headed, headed towards a new commitment. If this, if, this, if, this, if this is new, or I mean, this may apply to you as the way I'm perceiving this is that things are turning now in your favor because you've completed a karmic cycle here with somebody. And this, this in fact, could have been a karmic relationship. I channel karma with the Wheel of Fortune when I began the reading. This Page of Swords, very strong Aquarius here with his um, full energy and the Page of Swords. Somebody who's going to be looking at your pictures. Why am I getting two energies here? Let's clarify this Wheel of Fortune. Okay, now this deck is all over the place again. But look at, look at what it's showing as I split the deck. The Seven of Wands. That's a sign that we're going to use this deck. Seven of Wands. Perception. New perception is what somebody here is gathering. Could be a Pisces. 
about a karmic relationship. This person has it could be because it could have resentment, letting go of turmoil. Somebody's looking at a connection now differently. I'm also seeing that. Somebody whom you are standing firm, have placed boundaries, strong boundaries with. Seven of Wands could be a Capricorn. What is this Wheel of Fortune for Cancer? <clears throat> what is this Wheel of Fortune for Cancer? Okay, I'm seeing Virgo and the Moon. This is somebody who's been quiet for some time and reevaluating a situation. I feel somebody may come out of this hermit mode. This person has acquired has acquired sense of spirituality or guidance. Look, I channel the tarot. Some it's a ten of swords. Something here from the past with this Queen of Cups. There's something here from the past that this person here wants to like release. You know this burden that they have with you. Something's not over. I channeled, I had a dream here with the Ten of Swords and I said about a tragic ending that could have happened between you and this person. There's something here destined to happen between you and this energy that's watching. Page of Swords from your past, Six of Cups. We have the Knight of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, and the Moon. This person could have an inner struggle here with their emotions for you. Someone could have a Pisces Moon as well. And that is what's delaying this, this 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 energy to come forward from coming forward, but they're coming forward. This ten of swords in the reverse is this, this you're gonna be able to release this situation. Ten of swords in the reverse for the with the queen of cups. This five of wands is competition. We have a connection here with a masculine energy, new connection, ace of cups, two of cups, and the emperor. There's an inner battle going on because of emotions for this Queen of Cups, which cre have created a delay, or it could be a battle with other people, physical competition, other situations. This is what this person's letting go of, a karmic relationship. Someone's letting go of a karmic relationship. Virgo energy with this Hermit Aries. The Knight of Pentacles is a knight that's dependable. What is this Knight of Pentacles? I feel like it's in relation to the Ace of Cups and this relationship that's coming in. That's coming in. What? Why is this Ten of Swords? The Wheel of Fortune is a Ten. Something here is not over with somebody here from your past. But I also see, I also see the two of you releasing this burden that because of other people. So other people here got involved in this connection. Somebody, yeah, a lot of other people here were involved in this connection with this energy. This person thinks about you, misses you. There's nostalgia here. I'm seeing the Six of Cups watches you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I see the Eight of Cups as somebody who feels like you're detaching from them. Why is this Ten of Swords here? Something's here. It's not over. There's something here predetermined, meaning it's part of your destiny here with this energy. Ten of Swords in the reverse, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Nine of Pentacles. Very strong Virgo. It doesn't have to be. There's something coming in for you. It may, may be with your independence, financial independence. I see a pre-empress here who's single, nine of pentacles, or somebody single. There's something that's, that has to do with it, your destiny coming in. What is the outcome here for cancer? I feel like it's in, in relations to this knight, knight of pentacles. See, it's, it's, it is, here it is. The knight of cups with the eight of wands. Something here is coming forward. I, for, I didn't clarify this Knight of Cups. Here's the Knight of Cups. This is communication. The Knight of Pentacles. What is this offer here? It could be from a Leo or someone may have Leo. It, it's unexpected. This is coming in unexpectedly. There could be a person here gathering the courage to make this life change. The, this tower, This tower with the Wheel of Fortune is a life change. There may be an energy that may need to leave something behind. In order to come forward, meaning make a compromise, make a sacrifice. That might have been the reason why they took a long time. Somebody here has had a conflict here because they have feelings for you. What is this Knight of Cups coming forward towards Cancer? I just saw the Justice Energy Libra. What is this Knight of Cups for Cancer? The Wheel of Fortune is how we began the reading. Oh my God, I can't quit putting this in. Seven of Swords. Why is this Seven of Swords here showing? 
give me one more energy for this knight of cups it's like this person feels they need to get away with this or somebody needs to do this quietly give me one more energy aquarius energy libra gemini you don't trust this you don't trust this person when they communicate i just saw the devil energy you've been showing up in this seven of wands cancer so i feel like some of you are either blocking or standing firm on a on a decision you've made or somebody whom you feel like it's not it's not trustworthy look king of swords aquarius gemini libra this person's coming forward with communication but you don't trust this energy you don't trust them to a source someone you haven't spoken to in a while but you you match you match this person's energy queen of swords king of swords and the two of swords in the center with a seven of swords so a lot of you haven't spoken to this person about this this deception from the past that happened i don't feel like this this energy is coming forward with a lie i feel like they may try to be straight they may they may attempt to be strategic when they communicate but you're gonna know you're gonna know you're going to be matching their energy two of swords why is this two of swords here so this is a conversation here between two people this is a conversation here between this queen of swords king of swords and very strong aquarius the star energy we are in the age of aquarius you don't have to necessarily be dealing with an aquarius connecting to an aquarius but so this has to do with a fulfillment, okay, something you've wanted. There's something here you've wanted with this person. Don't tell me no, Cancer. You've wanted something here with this energy. Give me one more energy for this Knight of Cups. This energy is coming forward after some time of not communicating with you because there's something here that's still pending. Somebody here is missing you. Coming from out of the cold, Five of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. This person here is coming from out of the cold. Somebody's coming in to give to a... I was going to say pre-empress. We saw the nine of pentacles to an empress, divine feminine. Look in the page of cups that has been showing in the readings. This person may come forward also with an apology. Eight of cups and there it is. And the justice. This energy is walking away from another situation because they feel like it's the right thing to do. I'm also seeing something here about karma. There's karmic cycles karmic karmic lessons that somebody has learned you might have not spoken here to this energy in some time for some time in a while okay because i see two people in this five of pentacles out in the cold and we have a two of swords you're gonna have a conversation here with somebody um i i channel the knights or messages knights knights of, of cups or messages there's something to do about wanting to make things right between the two of you that's what I'm channeling, meaning cause and effect, weighing things out. There's a decision that this person here has made where they could have they could have been they could have been in denial for some time with the two of swords. This is something. This is quite a reading. What is this what is this person saying to Cancer? I feel like you already know that this is coming in. I just saw the high priestess. Scorpio energy transformation. You're not the same. A lot of you are not the same. What is this energy saying to Cancer? I feel you even though we are apart. This you know there's an there's telepathy going on between you and this person. So I see you I see you matching this person's energy, this energy that you whom you're not speaking to. We have the two of swords, king of swords, and the queen of swords. So I feel you even though we are apart. That's a message. Seven of swords. So I feel like the seven of swords is like a you know. You, this person can't they, they tried to but like it's it's almost like they try to spy on you in secret but you know i wonder if you're happy without me there's a message coming forward from a message of emotions confession we saw the two of cups ace of cups with the um, a masculine energy i wish i could share my good news with you i knew exactly what i was doing that is the seven of swords somebody here knows exactly what they're doing this is somebody that likes to likes to do things strategically i'm not available yeah you speak to me through music they may you know this is why the seven of swords is showing someone may communicate with you in secret because they're not available but they're still going to come forward here and communicate with you wow so <clears throat> this person feels attracted to you there's an attraction here to you but they're telling you they're not available. I bury myself in work to forget you. 
Give me one more energy for this reading. So there's somebody here who's not available because they're in a karmic situation, and that is the obstacle. The Seven of Wands, that is the obstacle. It could be work that is blocking this connection. It could be another, it could be a spouse. It could be another person. It could be family. There's something about this dynamic that is changing because the Wheel of Fortune here, it, it showed when we began the reading. I want you. Somebody here knows that they did something in the past that they need to discuss with you. They need to have a conversation about this with you. Okay, I feel like that is why the Seven of Swords is showing for this message emotional um expression that's, that's coming through for you you were the best thing in my life i hope that you can forgive me one day this person feels like they need to say something and they need to make things right between you and them and that is why the justice is here so i can't stop thinking about you this person saying you know you know i'm not the one for you i'm becoming a better person yeah i hide behind material things that could be the seven of wands, the obstacle between the two of you. This energy that hides behind the material. Give me one more energy for this reading for Cancer. There's somebody who's coming from out of the cold here to give to a feminine energy. And I see this with an apology. I know what this is saying, but we have lovers. So this energy could be between you and in a car, between you, well, not between, I, I shouldn't say in between, but there's somebody here who's in a karmic and a karmic connection. This could be a main male who's at a distance horizon here. And there's something to do with their family. So lovers for me symbolize a connection that you have with this person. But the lovers could also be a choice between two people. I see somebody that is involved within, in, within a karmic situation. This person, this person eventually will be liberating themselves from this. This could be, again, that's been showing in the readings family family main male we have lovers at a distant horizon this person knows that there's a connection here with you but they're involved in a card with a karmic mature male this could be a father we have main male and a mature male this wealthy man is showing give me one more energy yeah wealthy man so and sudden wealth is here Number 11 may resonate for you. Give me one more energy for this Wheel of Fortune for Cancer. Why is this Wheel of Fortune here? I feel like there's something here pending with someone that, that wants to release a burden with you. This is a masculine energy that could be consulting with somebody who's wise. I have the world here. A completion. A fulfillment could be travels, a celebration. This could be an arrival. This could also t speak about the material. Something big is happening soon. It's what I'm seeing here with the world. Yeah, and I'm so look, and as I said that, I'm seeing the tower with the nine of cups. Something big is happening soon. This seven of swords is showing again Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Somebody here is going to act strategically. in order to get something they want, okay? This person may have to make a sudden, so may have to do something drastic with this tower. Someone may feel like they need to either break up a relationship, release something because they've got their sudden insight. There's something huge is what I got with this world, something big. It's happening soon and I saw the tower. This is a massive groundbreaking change. That is what the tower is. That is what the Wheel of Fortune is. The Tower and the Wheel of Fortune. The, I'm seeing both, both energies. This person is going to do this in a way that feels, see, they're liberating themselves with this full energy. New beginnings towards a new beginning to make a new beginning work. And they're doing it quietly. It's, it's what they want. It's like their inner happiness, a wish come true for them, contentment. It's Two of Pentacles. They've been back and forth about this for some time with the Two of Pentacles. Has something to do with their family. Look, it has to do with this beginning. And I feel like there's somebody here getting in their card and leaving. Six of Swords are planning to do it in secret. Six of Swords, Seven of Swords. This person is going to get up in the middle of the night and pack up their things. And they're going to do it in secret. Three of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. I feel that there's something here about an obstacle being in the way. 
there has been an obstacle here in the way of somebody making this um, ex. I don't know why I'm here and making this exit. There's a person who's making an exit, either could be out of a family dynamic and, and heading towards this new door, this Ace of Pentacles, this new opportunity that is being presented that is going to lead, lead someone here towards stability. Okay, it could be, could be a home family dynamic as well with the Ten of Pentacles commitment. It could be commitment as well. Um, I see someone feeling the need to do this in secret strategically planning this there's awakening with the truth revealed this could be in the form of communication yes confirmation yes i feel like somebody has awakened they live me perhaps this person literally woke up one day and said to somebody else i'm not i'm no longer involved you know i'm not committed anymore to this situation i need to go look i need to go the wheel of fortune i need to make a change this is happening very soon with somebody who's at a distant horizons, is at a long distance, who's realizing that no one compares to you. This is a twin flame. This person's awakening to this connection with you. This person's awakening to the to the connection with you. I just channel the Truman Show. Like someone's awakening and re awakening and realizing that the life that they have been living is a complete facade. That has to be scary, right? We have the Six of Cups memories. So this energy wants to go back to their old self. They want to heal. I feel like they're wondering if, if they communicate with you, would you give them a chance? 1111, so confirmation, this could be a Leo. This person is wondering if if you would be, I see, I see seven of one, protect your energy because they're coming in. If you would be open to the possibilities of, of giving them a chance. I'm healing. Would you give me a chance? This is somebody that's trying to become a better person. That is why we have the seven of wands with this devil energy. Somebody who's trying to push away their, their karmic, karmic codependencies. Miss your voice. We have a wish granted here. Scorpio energy. I'm looking at your social media. One more energy for this reading. The ex knows Capricorn. That's the seven of wands and the devil. Endings, endings, new beginnings. The outcome for you is good. The outcome for you is good. This new beginning is being offered to you. I have Taurus energy, incoming news. Incoming news. This this situation that somebody ha has or has had, or I feel like they're walking away from this now, uh, has turned out to be quite a tragic ending. That is, that is what I channeled earlier on in the reading. I think I channeled that Ten of Swords. This has been an ending for a tragic ending for somebody because it did not work out. It did not work out. There's somebody who's doing something strategically here to try to get out of a situation. And that is what I see for this message, Cancer. Give me one more energy for this reading. I'm sending you so much love and light, Cancer. Please like if this resonated with you. I almost just flipped the card. We have telepathy, dreams, 5D communication, nine of cups with somebody who's been at a crossroads and there's karma here. They see the truth now. I think I channeled telepathy. I almost flipped the card around. I channeled, um, I don't know what I channeled earlier. I channeled this person communicating with you via telepathy. We have the nine of cups with this Devil energy again, karmic, learning karmic lessons. Look, the Ace of Swords, there it is. We have clarity in the Ace of Swords. This person has healed a coping mechanism that they've had, meaning from the time that they were a child. Somebody here has learned poor coping mechanisms, learned behaviors from the time that they were a child. They're in their subconscious. This person is realizing that they decided or they have, could have made a decision in the past based on these mental self, inner self, false self-beliefs, coping mechanisms that they've had. I feel like this person is now seeing this with seeing this very clearly. We have this karmic, learning a karmic lessons, mature maturity, structure, adversity, breakthrough, decisive action. Okay, one more energy. There's a wish fulfillment here with somebody at a distance. We have in between two people, between two paths, contemplations, should I stay or should I go? Retreat, timeout, blocked emotional. This person's blocked emotionally, but there could also be physical distance. 
There's communication coming in, Mercury, Mercury energy. News is on the way, text, phone call, intuition. Things are not as they appear. We have karmic energy here, karma, cause and effect. Look, it says here, wants to make things right. We have karma because of other, other influences, family, obligations, friends. This person feels guilty about this. Look, devil energy, toxicity, bound. This is what made somebody feel bound, and there's a wheel of fortune, okay? There's a change here, transformation. We have Pluto letting go. There's a wheel of fortune because the wheel of fortune in this reading is this divine intervention that I see happening. You know, it is also karmic. It is also karmic. I feel I feel that there's somebody who, who sees very clearly now what needs to go. We have resilience, endings, and transformation, gaining the power to do so. This person has been unhappy and dissatisfied for a very long time. We have triggers, disharmony, conflict, five of wands. They're activating their higher self. Somebody here is in a very unhappy, unhappy situation. It's been showing in the readings. It's this masculine that has been showing at a crossroads between two things. See, it's them packing up and leaving. There's a change. There's a change. Relocating, moving on. It was a song that came on. I had Alexa playing my music library and she just she played this song that came out of nowhere and it was called like from 1957 i don't i so i know that this was not in my library not that i don't listen to music from 1957 but it's it's a song i've never heard before i see leo here 888 and the initial a may resonate for you but the song was called moving on moving on and there it is change Moving on, making progress. I even looked up the lyrics of the song. And, and the song said, you'll be in my life for a lifetime. So here it is, reunion with someone that feels a soul tie connection to you, past life connection. There's an energy who's leaving a situation here, very strategic about it. Doesn't have to be an air sign, but they could be an air sign, okay? Because <laughs> I see the seven of swords as Aquarius. Gemini Libra as well. So gathering the courage to get up and go. Okay, and reunite with a with a soulmate. Reunite with a soulmate because things here did not work out for them. Back something here backfire for this person. Sagittarius, look at this second chance apology. I didn't expect to fall in love with you. Somebody here was too brave and too impulsive. Okay, they thought that maybe you know it's just like that saying that the grass the grass was indeed greener on the other side. I feel like it wasn't. I don't think it was green at all. So maybe it withered. Who knows? But I'm gonna give one more to you in my dreams. My dreams, telepathy, you're my soulmate. I'm feeling lost. Don't tell me no. So this person wants to know if you're dating somebody else. Because if you are, they want to come in and ruin it for you. Okay, that is that is what I'm seeing. Um, or they will, they will try to do it. So we have focus on money. Somebody's focus on work. For, focus on their situation before they come forward. Okay, this person knows that there's a side to you, that there's a wild side to you. Maybe they miss your wild side. I, I don't, you know, they say, this person knows that the two of you have a soul strong connection, magnetic connection. And that's, and somebody feels lost and unhappy, missing you, missing you, but knowing that they need time to heal, okay? They, they, they need time to heal. This, 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 this energy tends to do things, um, maybe um in secret like maybe trying to get get away with something is the energy i'm getting somebody's trying to get away with something so they need time to heal missing you unclear so i don't know where this is somebody that that may be all over the place they do know that they want to come forward towards you this person thinks a lot about you but they're nervous to do it they're nervous to do it something here has happening soon i've seen very soon soon a few times so with this twin flame energy, you feel like home to this person. This energy wants to run away with you. Be careful. Make sure that this person is completely over this situation once they come they come forward here. Because they, I, I, I pick up pick up the energy from somebody who's, who's feeling lost, and they're going to want to come forward to try to exchange emotional intimacy. If you know what I mean. So they need to let, have let the past go first, okay? Somebody feels like it's not over with you. This isn't goodbye. This is not goodbye. If they communicate with you, will you listen to them? I feel like it's what somebody's wondering. They're unclear. Somebody feels unclear about whether or not you will receive them. Maybe the same way that you did once, once before. 
That is what I'm picking up for this reading, Cancer. Let me know if it resonated with you. I'm sending you so much love and light. Please like, subscribe if this resonated with you. There's an unexpected message here because of karmic justice. Can we talk? Look, Aquarius again. I don't know. I have major realization. So, and, and the Eight of Cups. I just saw the Eight of Cups. So, so yes, please like the video if this resonated. Um, you don't have to subscribe unless if you feel like subscribing. I love you guys. Sending you all so much love and light. I'll be back soon with another reading. Until then, namaste.